and you've got more. Gosh, I don't know what you, <laughs> how you find all the time. But uh, well, it's uh, you know between us and the two young ladies who work for us, it's uh, it's a labor of love. Uh, we love what we do, and uh, our participants see that, and they want to be part of all the different programs we're offering. Right. Uh, it's as I said, it's been an exciting year. We started up programs about two months ago. So we have our sailing program was going. Uh, we did some outdoor activities, uh, Wolf Neck Farm. We did some art activities. We had two water sport camps. Uh, we also have added a location in the Bangor area, working with Camp Capella. So we're based out of there for summer and winter programs if we develop develop them. Uh, we had our outdoor climb at Otter Cliffs, and so it's been wow. been great to have, you know see our participants back out. It's been a tough few months. Sure, sure. You right. know, a lot of confusion. A lot of these kids haven't seen their friends and the isolation. So it's been been a difficult time. I would agree. I would agree. And life has changed for all of us. You know, as it, the masks are now a fact of life, which uh, is requ- you know required here at our lodge also. And mm-hmm. uh, you know, and just out of making sure you're respectful of other people, and hopefully we will beat this COVID thing. Sure as we go forward now so. it, this has always been known as a uh, hostel and maybe you could unwrap mm-hmm. that a little bit and tell us uh, moving forward how things will be yes yeah, so in the past uh, few years since we started uh, we were a hostel we were renting out uh, beds by the night for a minimal fee uh, obviously with the situation we've had to change our policies so mm-hmm. uh, we are renting out by the room only now uh, and we last year we added four private bedrooms, so we have uh, eight private bedrooms now, and so each bedroom will be uh, has different configurations with number of beds depending on the number of people in a family or or if a group wants to rent, uh, they can still bring in a group on their own mm-hmm. with various people in the beds. But we're as far as we're concerned, uh, they can do what they want at that time, but right. we're not going to do the individual beds. And then each room will have its own bathroom to use, and we're trying. We're working on how the kitchen is going to work. At the moment, we're going to put a box of dishes and cooking utensils in each room, yep. so we, each party has their own uh, utensils to use, and then have to figure out a schedule on using the kitchen. So it's going to be a challenge. Right. Uh, part of this whole few months has been a challenge, but, uh, you know, we'll find ways to deal with it. Well, you're adaptable. We are adaptable. Right. So. I'd, love to, I'd love to see more of, of the facility. Can you give us a tour? Yep. So we, uh, we'll get up and we'll go into one of the rooms and show you what it looks like. Sounds great. Okay, so we're coming into the lodge now, and this is our lobby area. And co- as you can see, uh, couches, sitting area, fireplace, and our friendly bear. Yes up uh, on the mantle, which have been quite popular up here this summer. Where's the dumpster? With the dumpster bears, yeah. yes. And as we come in here, here's the kitchen, which is shared by all of the guests. So they bring their own. We do not prepare any food here ourselves, so everybody brings their own food and has use of the kitchen to do whatever they would like to do. And we've had... Uh, a lot of fun times here with the groups getting together and you know having pizza parties and making pizza together and doing different things and so now we were coming into the the older section so these rooms here uh, were part of the hostel style and we're now coming into the new section that was uh, opened up last year so we have a sitting area and a table here for games and a variety of different things, activities for kids to do. A reading area, we have a porch out here which will be screened in for next summer, but uh, right now it's available. There's a fire pit out there so people can be out there and enjoy uh, the cool weather as we go forward. And we're coming down to one of the rooms now. And this is our, we call it the penthouse room. It's probably the bigger one. We have a queen bed and a single. 
Beautiful quilts. And the quilts were made by my wife's aunt, who these are all handmade, and they were, she donated them to us for all the beds in the, in the facility. So there's about 26 beds. And then we also have our pop-up tent, which is very popular with, with the kids. They can put the uh, side piece down and have their own little space. And it's proved to be uh, very beneficial for, uh, for the kids and having them get a good night's sleep because they're very busy during the day. And then each room's, these are the private bathrooms and, uh, and it's been uh, a lot of fun being a uh, proprietor of a inn. Yeah. It's a new challenges and different things, but just adding to the resume. Well, it looks like you're having fun with it. It is, it is fun. You meet a lot of great people. That's a facility. Uh, Andy had taken some pictures of the outside previously. And again, as you drive up the outdoor center road, we are the two yurts. Uh, come in and visit. We're going to have an open house on Saturday of homecoming from 10 to 3. We also have a challenge playground in the front yard, which is open to the public. Uh, and it's proved very popular amongst a lot of the people with their kids. And there's a variety of different activities out there. And then one last thing, uh, as we mentioned, the bears and the dumpsters have been an interesting issue. Uh, the bears have been visiting us here at the lodge quite often. So Kayla, our director, wrote a bear book. So this is a story about a bear we've called Murphy. And it's, it's fun. I think kids will enjoy it. Uh, we will have these at our booth uh, to sell over the weekend. And I also have a book on sailing written by one of our a young man named Colby Gott, and it's an excellent book for kids to learn about sailing and to talk about some of the challenges and fears that Col Colby wrote about. And uh, he's a great young man, and the book is uh, really, really nice, and I think people will enjoy it. So hope to see everybody at our booth, and hope everybody has a great weekend. And if you're not able to make it to the show, uh, you can find us online at the Adaptive Outdoor Education Center.org. And we're on Facebook and every other electronic media out there that I don't know a lot about, but we're there. So, uh, and you can contact us about our programs and the lodges and everything else we do on the website.